Well, I was born in the year 1916 in the western part of New York State in the small town of Waterloo. But my family moved uh, very soon after that to the city of Rochester in western New York where I grew up. And I lived there until uh, the time of World War II. My family was a working class family. and My father was a factory worker. He was a metal polisher and grinder. And uh, he worked in factories in Rochester throughout all of his working life. Uh, although my family was a working class family, it was also a uh, well-read family. And my house was always filled with books. And my uncles especially collected many books. And among the books we had were a number of histories of uh, the Amer United States at the time of the turn of the century when the imperialist era was developing for uh, uh, American interests. And I, we had many books about the conquest of the Philippines and uh, about um, American policy in Asia at that time, uh, including quite a number of uh, photographic albums of uh, what had happened in the Philippines when the American army was there early in the century and the Filipinos uh, fought against the American conquest. And uh, this uh, record and these pictures, this history, uh, lived in my memory from a very early age and uh, always impressed me very, very deeply. Well, the ones that uh, impressed themselves most deeply on me were photographs of the aftermath of uh, battles in which American troops were fighting the, the Filipino uh, forces who were really defending the first Philippine Republic at that time. The scenes of innumerable uh, dead bodies of uh, ordinary Filipinos. Usually, they're, at the time, they were dressed in sort of a white uniform or white garb. So you, the scene of, uh, of uh, rice fields and the countryside littered with the dead bodies of, of these white-clad Filipinos. One of the things that most, uh, most impressed me, and I, I thought it was a shocking uh, thing, and, and I couldn't understand how th these these albums I saw were, were entitled uh, Photographs of Our New Possessions. And I, I was wondering, how can Americans uh, think of possessing a country and killing its inhabitants, you see? This, this was one of the things that I thought about at the time. But I, as I say, I didn't really understand what was happening until I grew up later, and especially in the 1930s period when I became socially conscious this was the time of the Great Depression in the United States. My own family suffered from it. My father continued to work, but his wages were literally cut in half or, or down to one-fourth of what they were, and our standard of living was greatly reduced during this period. And when I came out of high school, uh, I came into a, a society of unemployment, and I was unemployed for years. And, uh, uh, used to make the rounds of factories and, and offices, constantly trying to find work. And th this, this uh, aroused my social consciousness, you might say, and it led to my becoming a uh, leftist in my thinking uh, and, and Marxist in my thinking. And I had nothing to do as an unemployed person but to spend my time in libraries, and I read my way into an understanding of life around me. Probably a better education that I could ever have gained from going to a university where I, my thoughts would be guided by a university. But my, I had the means of being an open-minded person. So I, I read a lot about uh, uh, Marxist movements in this period. But what, what really uh, uh, stimulated me to join the left movements, and I, I joined uh, the Communist Party in Rochester in the year 1938, what really stimulated me to do that was the Civil War in Spain at that time. Uh, there were a number of uh, young Americans from uh, Rochester who went to Spain in the Abraham Lincoln Brigade, the part of the International Brigades that fought against Franco. And this uh, greatly, greatly impressed me. And, it, and um, there were committees in Rochester working on aid to Spain, which I joined and helped to, to build. And uh, eventually it brought me into the full left movement. And uh, this greatly increased my understanding of things. I, I really never understood American history until uh, I became a communist and began to analyze American history from the Marxist standpoint. And uh, never did I understand what happened in American history until I acquired this outlook.